Okay, today I'm going to show you all how to freeze okra for frying. This is my okra here. I've washed it and got it all cut up in like half an inch little rounds. And then another bowl over here, what I'll do is I will mix up the breading that I'm going to roll it in, and then after I roll it in this, we'll fry it for a few minutes. The breading is one cup of flour. I'm going to double this recipe because I've got probably six quarts here. So we're going to say two cups of flour. cup of cornstarch and two cups of cornmeal. Okay. And you can salt and pepper it and then also you want to put about two tablespoons ooh, way too much. Um, two tablespoons of baking powder in it. Kind of let it get little rise to it on the bread. Get my salt and pepper here. And then salt and pepper it. I think I may have a little bit too much. I'm going to take out some of this. Mix this all together really well. to do it in small increments. So what I'm going to do is get another bowl and take out some of that. And then with the ogre, so like I said, there's probably about six quarts of this ogre. I'm going to add four eggs. This is just to like wet the okra really good and make the batter stick to it. I'm just gonna get my hands in there and uh, you don't want there to be like a bunch of extra egg in there. Just use enough that it really coats the okra, but that you don't have a bunch in the bottom of the pan. Here's what the ogre looks like. And then, like I say, we'll add in small increments, enough for your frying pan, whatever you have. The okra. Put it in there and shake it up really good. Then we'll take it over here and par fry it for like 30 seconds just so the breading's good and stuck on it. And then we'll cool it and put it in the bags. looks like and we'll just fry it till the batter gets set maybe just a little brown we'll take it out of there and drain it on like paper towels or newspaper works really great I don't have newspaper today so we're going to use paper towels you can put a fan on it make sure it gets good and dry and cool and then bag it in your bags and label it and freeze it works really nice and 
doesn't stick all together and clump up. And over here I'm going to be blanching some pink eyed purple hall peas that was left over from market last night. So I'll blanch them for a minute, put them in really cold water, then I'll dry them also and then bag them. Let me show you. Only got a little bit, just what was left over from market last night. But I don't want them to go to waste. So that's it, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to be taking these out of here. Might flip these once. See how all of them are like individual? They're not all clumped up or nothing. And that's pretty much good enough. And we'll take them out there, put them into our bowl to take over and put on the paper towels. Here, got my paper towels laid out, and we'll just dump that on there. And we'll just fry it up in little batches like that till we get it all done. Put a fan on it, let it dry, and then we'll bag it and be ready to go. That's how you uh, bar fry your okra. You can also do different vegetables this way. Thanks for watching.